Welcome to App Pulse 24. In this short walkthrough video, I'm going to show you how you can create incredibly powerful Android and iOS native and PWA mobile apps for yourself, for your clients, for your online business, for your e-commerce business, for your local business, for your clients, local business, for your courses, for your consultation, for appointment booking, for pretty much anything you can think of. Now, App Pulse 24 lets you create apps using three different ways by creating app using a template that we have created, a manual app creation process where you can fully customize and control every single aspect of how you want your app to be, or you can use AI to create an app for you. Now, in this demonstration, I'm gonna show you how to create an app for a course that we are trying to create and sell using App Out. To get started, we're gonna click on AI generated application option here, and give it a name. Let's say our course is about AI automation agency course. It is a course type app, not an e-commerce or small business or local business app. I'm gonna select course in the application type. Niche I'm gonna provide as AI, or you can give any niche. Then I'm gonna give it a prompt that explains what kind of app I want the AI to create for me. Then I'm gonna click on generate app. And just like that, App Owls is gonna start creating a mobile app for my course. Now, as you can see, we're on this dashboard. I can customize the app a little bit before going into full customization. Now, I can add a color as a background, or if you want, you can choose an image. You can upload your own image, or you can search from the library to add a splash screen. I wanna use this, click apply, and your splash screen is added. Of course, you can add your own icon on. You can customize and change this later as well. Now, if you want to sell a course, you can add a course or you can select from the courses that have already been created. So in our case, we're going to create a course. We're going to click on add course and I'm going to go here, create a course. So the title of the course, I'm going to put it here, give it a summary, the price, and I can either have it featured or free. So it's going to be featured because I'm going to charge a fee. Now, once your course is created, you can start adding chapters in it. To Add a chapter, the first thing you need to do is add a module. I'm gonna go here, add an insert. The order of the module will be one. Click save. And once the module is added, you can start adding chapters, right? So you can, can give a chapter name, intro, chapter length, 15 minutes. In the introduction module, order of this chapter is one. You can give it a description, click save. And once that is done, you can upload a video, audio, PDF, for the chapter, the content of the course. And then of course you can decide what kind of accessibility you wanna give access to your customer for this chapter immediately. You wanna drip feed it after a number of days when um, the customer has made the purchase from, or you can lock it based on an action. This chapter can only be unlocked once a previous chapter has been completed. So you have full control over this, right? And once you're done adding all your chapters and building your course, you can go back here, click on refresh, and select the featured option here and save and continue to have your course added inside your mobile app. Now here you can give your contact details, your support details, click continue. Now here you can select what kind of payment you want. Do you want it in dollar, whatever currency you want to do that. You can choose payment method from PayPal, Stripe, Square, Paystack, Razorpay, cash and delivery, or you can also add a shipping charge or a tax based on flat or percentage of whatever price you're buying. Right, so for this demonstration, we're gonna stick with cash and delivery and continue. Next, we're gonna add SMTP details. If you wanna email your customers uh, their login info on all that stuff. If you, wanna, if you don't wanna do that, you can skip it and your app will be created. Now, once you're here, you can select this app, click on edit. Now, once you're in the editor, you can of course edit the basic settings. You can edit the splash screen. You can add external scripts. You can choose what kind of notifications you want to send, what's the URL of your app stores. You can have authentication settings. You want email verification when a customer registers or not. You can add your own address details. You can add SMTP. You can integrate with MailChimp, different autoresponders. We have, we have SMS integration. You can add SMS. You can add Google Analytics on it. And then, of course, you can change your payment settings as well. Now, if you want, you can preview the app here as well. This entire app has been created by AI. But let's go to Pages and Elements so we can start customizing and editing these pages. Now, AI has created four pages for us, Home, About, 
course where the course is hosted and a contact page, right? Now, if you want to change any of this, we can add more things to it. We can add text, media, video, and images. We can add greetings. We can add buttons. We can add countdown timers. We can add iframe, slider, forms, lots of different things. We can add quizzes. We can add more courses. We can add custom course. We can add a loyalty program. We can add appointment booking options. Tons of different things can be added on every single page that you see here. If you want to customize or change something, you can simply select the text here. You can change the font to whatever you want. You can increase the font size. You can change the text color to whatever you want. You can add highlights on it and customize the app, the look and feel, whichever way you want. Now, once you're done doing that, you can go to menu and navigation and you can change the style of the menu. So right now we have a hamburger menu right over here and all that pages pop up here, but you can choose from inline block based menu or icon based menu to choose. And you can also choose which pages you want to show or you want to show all the pages. And of course, you can change profile menu, you can change footer menu, you can change the main menu style to be whatever you want. If you want to do it like this, if you want to have over here, if you want to just keep it as default, I prefer menu top to be nicer looking ones. And once you're done, you can of course also customize the theme, the entire app in one go based on the colors, the theme, the font, the look and feel of your app. Now, once you've done playing with your app, once you've customized everything, you can save it as a template if you want to recreate a different course app but want to use the same model. So you can use this as a template so you don't have to customize it all over again. And once you're done, you can click on publish to publish your app. But before you publish your app, you have to go to general settings and add a URL. So AI agency, click on continue, and then you click on publish your app. Your app will be published and you'll be redirected to the dashboard where you can see your, your app is published. A QR code has been generated. A URL is ready that you can start sharing with your customer. Now you can generate an Android and iOS version of this app that you can publish on Android and iOS apps, right? App stores, and then generate more sales, more traffic. Once your apps are published, customers are buying, you can see all your customers in the engaged lead section, and you can send them SMS, you can send them push notification, you can see how many bookings have been created, and you can also manage your loyalty program by adding a loyalty program where your customers can invite other customers and get benefit by inviting other customers to your app, to your course, to your e-commerce product, to your local business, to your appointment booking, uh, dentists or lawyers and get loyalty points for it, whatever you want. And you can customize it as well to make your business, your course, your consultation go viral. You can see analytics of all your apps here. You can see analytics of all your apps here. You can just see all the products and orders that have been created for your courses, for your e-commerce. You can create different order lists. You can create subscription-based e-commerce and online uh, product listings as well. You can create coupons. You can decide how delivery is done. You can manage all your courses. You can manage all your clients here, right? And then you can start creating these mobile apps for all different businesses and start selling them for $500 to $1,000 a pop and start making money. If you have any questions about Apples, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be happy to help you. Cheers.